Give him some ham and eggs. Yes, ma'am. Well, it's very kind of you, sister, but I'm not hungry. A cup of coffee and a sinker will fix me up fine. Don't be a sucker. Give him some ham and eggs. The way I'm fixed, 35 cents isn't going to make any difference. Here. Thanks. Things a little tough, huh? Wouldn't be sitting in an owl wagon for local color. They locked me out of my room. Oh, that's too bad. Well, things are tough everywhere. War in Europe, strikes over here, there's no work, there's no food. Drink your coffee while it's hot. What'd they lock you out of your room for? Did I ask you any questions? I'm sorry. It's all right. You been in Hollywood long? Long enough. Trying to crash the movies or something? Something like that. I guess that's pretty hard to do, huh? I guess so. I never got close enough to find out. Oh, sorry. Say, who's being sorry for who? Am I buying you the eggs or are you buying me the eggs? I'd just like to repay you for them. All right, give me a letter of introduction to Lubitsch. I might be able to do that, too. Who's Lubitsch? Drink your coffee. Can you act? What'd you say? I said, can you act? Sure, I can act. Would you like me to give you a recitation? Go ahead. Skip it. My next act will be an impersonation of a young lady going home on the thumb. In that outfit? How about your own outfit? Oh, I mean, haven't you got a car? No, have you? No, but... Then don't get ritzy. And I'll tell you some other things I haven't got. I haven't got a yacht or a pearl necklace or a fur coat or a country seat or even a winter seat. I could use a new girdle, too. I wish I could give you some of the things you need. <laughs> you wouldn't be trying to lead me astray, would you? <laughs> you know, the nice thing about buying food for a man is that you don't have to laugh at his jokes. Just think. If you were some big shot like a casting director or something, I'd be staring into your bridge work saying, yes, Mr. Smearcase, no, Mr. Smearcase, not really, Mr. Smearcase. Oh, Mr. Smearcase, that's my knee. Give Mr. Smearcase another cup of coffee, make it two. Want a piece of pie? No, thanks, kid. Why, Mr. Smearcase, aren't you getting a little familiar? Look. Look, if you wanted to stay in Hollywood a little longer... Well, I don't want to stay in Hollywood a little longer. I've used up all my money, all my going home... Well, money. I was just going to say, I have a friend that's out of town, and you might be able to stay at his place for a couple of weeks, and maybe by then things would break a little better for you. Or he might even be able to help you a little. No, thanks. There's no strings to this, kid. I know you don't know who I am, but I used to know a few people around here, and this guy's really out of town. And you know a way in through the window or something, no thanks. No, I'm pretty sure that in this case... I'm he... going home, big boy. I can get a ride out of here in a little while. I don't like to think of you asking a bunch of thugs for lifts along the highway. Then don't think about it. You mean you just get in any car that comes along? Anything but a Stanley steamer. My uncle blew up in one. That's terrible. You can't tell what kind of a heel is apt to be behind the wheel. All well, heels are pretty much the same. Look. Yes, Mr. Smearcase? Uh, this friend of mine, the guy I was telling you about that's out of town, I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I borrowed his car. What is it, a street car? It's a... Uh car. You just wait here. And now you're just going to get yourself in trouble. I'm not going to get myself in trouble. I'm just going to repay you for the ham and eggs. Well, that isn't necessary, big boy. Someday when your ship comes in, you can buy somebody that's hungry some ham and eggs. It will be all square. It's fine. Just wait here, and I'll be back before you can say, uh, what was that big director's name? Lubitsch. Lubitsch. Thank you.